the, the idea of doing these challenges for myself uh, came about in 2013 originally when uh, I decided to ride my bike across America. I realized that I needed to be an example for other veterans and show them that just because you come back wounded in some way, whether psychologically or physically, it doesn't mean that you can't still contribute to society. You're not, you're not broken because, because you got injured. When somebody that may be struggling sees me doing this, they might have a better chance or it might be easier for them to envision themselves being able to do it as well. So this is just an extension of that overall mission that I started back in 2013. We were trying to find a place along this Schuylkill River Trail to, uh, to base from uh, for my marathons because I'm just kind of running, you know, three kilometers that direction, come back, three kilometers that direction and come back. And so we contacted uh, Brian Perkins, the head coach, and he immediately said yes, and he's been, he was our first one, uh, first person that offered a, a place for us to base out of. And, uh, you know, it's been great. It's, we've been welcomed here with open arms. For me, it means quite a bit. Uh, I respect our military a lot, and I respect what he is uh, trying to show and uh, bring to light. So I think that is very important. You know, it really means a lot. I have I have some veterans in my family, and uh, you know, it, veterans are a huge part of our society. And honestly, I think that what he's doing out here just uh, is really can help out veterans in uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, I really think it's it's what he's doing is great, and uh, like I'm really excited to be a part of it. Our sport is a tough sport. You know, it's, it's uh, we ask for a lot of sacrifice. We ask for you. Know, you're not going to have fun in college the way you would if you weren't a rower. Uh, you have to balance your grades and balance your athletics. You have to work really hard. We want to win. It's tough. It's grueling. It's all those things. That's nothing compared to the sacrifice that some people are forced to make. That Rob volunteered to make. He joined the Marines. He went to war for us, uh, and he paid. You know short of the ultimate sacrifice, but really he gave a lot for us. So uh, it really puts a lot of uh, what we think is hard work, what we think is sacrifice, what we think is pain in perspective when you see somebody like that uh, come back and do this, which is crazy for, you know, me. Philadelphia is one of the legendary cities of America. And, you know, it's called the city of brotherly love. And I mean, I just figured it would be a great city to exemplify the, the love for veterans because of its history and I mean, I was proven correct with the, with the turnout here.